How safe are COVID-19 vaccines and what do we know about vaccine-associated myocarditis? That's our topic today. Across the globe, over 10 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines including RNA technology, viral vectors, recombinant protein, and inactivated virus have been administered. These vaccines are generally very safe, but occasionally they can lead to a condition known as post-vaccine myocarditis, an inflammation of the heart muscle. This inflammation can occur within days or weeks of vaccination due to adaptive humoral and cellular responses. Rates of vaccine-associated myocarditis vary, with the highest rates observed in males between the ages of 12 and 39. While this condition is often mild, it can occasionally lead to more serious health issues such as left ventricular dysfunction, heart failure, and arrhythmias. What are the symptoms of vaccine-associated myocarditis, and how is it diagnosed and managed? Let's delve into this. Mild cases of vaccine-associated myocarditis may slip under the radar, as cardiac magnetic resonance imaging or CMR isn't routinely performed. In symptomatic patients, however, the story changes. If they present with electrocardiographic changes and increased plasma troponin levels, hospitalization becomes necessary. This allows for monitoring of potential arrhythmias and any decline in left ventricular function. When it comes to diagnosis, CMR shines as the best non-invasive tool at our disposal. Endomyocardial biopsy, a more invasive procedure, is reserved for severe cases where heart failure and arrhythmias are apparent. As for management, the strategy is multifaceted. Non-specific measures are taken to control pain, while anti-inflammatory drugs are employed in more severe cases. These include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs and corticosteroids. Despite these risks, the overall risks of SARS-CoV-2 infection-related hospitalization and death are vastly greater than the risks from post-vaccine myocarditis. What are the key points to remember about vaccine-associated myocarditis? Well, it's crucial to remember that while post-vaccine myocarditis does happen, it's generally mild and manageable with treatment. Even more essential to grasp is that the risks associated with contracting COVID-19 far, far outweigh the potential risks of post-vaccine myocarditis. These insights provide a practical resource for understanding, diagnosing, and managing vaccine-associated myocarditis, and they underscore the pressing need for ongoing research in this area.